and mentioning that uh, it's very easy to raise funding for IPPs. And I would say it's extremely difficult for the local people. So you need to understand it from our perspective as South Africans as well, that when you come in with the projects, that let's find better ways of partnering with both the white owned businesses and black owned businesses. Because especially I will speak uh, on behalf of a black women owned uh, company in South Africa, because we don't want women to be spectators once again when we are introducing these new technologies. So let's make sure because, for instance, if you look at an IPP uh, project, you must invest a lot of money during the feasibility stage of that particular project. So you move it from pre-feasibility stage, it's money from your own pocket, pre-feasibility to feasibility to bankable feasibility, and all the way to financial goals. I would say that when a project uh, of this nature reaches the bankable feasibility stage, that's when you actually be in a position to actually crowd in um, a lot of private sector investors. But once you are still conceptualizing it, it becomes extremely difficult. But if you say 